Are you looking for something to do with snow besides shovel it? How about photographing it? Hi, I'm Julie from Ultimate Photo Tips. Today I'm going to give you eight tips for photographing snow. The first four tips are all about photographing falling snowflakes. So here we go. Tip number one is about choosing the right focal length for your lens to get the effect that you want. A long lens is going to compress distance, kind of flatten everything, so that you can get a layered look to the falling snow with snowflakes at different distances appearing as different sizes. If it's not snowing very hard, this is a good way to get a lot of flakes into your image. This photo was taken with a focal length of 100 millimeters. A wide angle lens can take in more of the scene, but it has to be snowing pretty hard to get a layered look. This one was shot with a 30 millimeter lens. Tip number two is about choosing your aperture. When you shoot wide open, you can get snowflake bokeh with some soft circles that are out of focus snowflakes. This one can work well in combination with a long lens. If you stop your lens down and use a small aperture, you can get your flakes nice and sharp, but be careful. If your shutter speed gets too long to compensate for the small aperture, your flakes may start to appear as streaks. This was shot at f4. Watch out for those big out of focus flakes. All right, tip number three is about choosing your shutter speed. You need a fast shutter speed to freeze the flakes. This shot was taken at a 200th of a second. The longer you leave the shutter open, the more your snowflakes will appear as lines or streaks. This one was taken at a 60th of a second. Exactly which shutter speed to choose depends on how much wind there is too. This was also shot at a 60th of a second, but the streaks are much longer because the wind was blowing really hard. Tip number four. You can use flash when you're shooting snow in low light to freeze the motion of the flakes. You should definitely take lots of shots when you try this because you often get one or two flakes close to the lens that turn those large white splotches over your image. Tip number five. Snow scenes can often end up looking almost black and white. So including something with a pop of color can really liven up your image. Tip number six. Watch your white balance. If you're photographing snow in the shade and the only light is reflected light from the sky, your camera's auto white balance can be fooled into giving you blue snow. Shooting with a white balance set to shade can help you correct this. Tip number seven. Photographing snow on a sunny day can be a tricky situation for your light meter. So keep an eye on your histogram and watch for blown out highlights. And finally, tip number eight. Let's not forget about the most commonly cited tip. If you use your camera's meter to expose an expanse of snow, it will be rendered as gray. You'll need to tell your camera to overexpose by one and a half to two full stops to get your whites looking truly white. Phew, that's it. That's your eight tips. Now you're ready to grab your camera and go and enjoy the snow. For more great tips, please come on over to ultimatephototips.com. Happy shooting, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.